So if there is an item that somebody would like to address their, their, um, their issues with the board, this would be the time to do so if it's not an item that's already on the, on the agenda. Good morning, Mr. Save. How are you doing? Good morning, commissioners. And uh, it's, been a good, it's been a good week. I'm here as, a, and your as name? an environmentalist. And, and your name, sir? My name is Harold record. Save. And I'm here as an environmentalist, and I also have an application uh, submitted to the EPAC uh, vacancy, one of the two that are there. Uh, I'm here to talk about the, the biomass power plant as a tremendously bad idea. Gainesville Renewable Energy Center, L LLC, Limited Liability Corporation, and GRU have a contract that the GRU ratepayers find redacted. They can't see it. This is, uh, this is no good, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this um, is not sustainable. If you think that burning trees to solve global warming is a good idea, or if you think it's a bad idea, go to Stop Grec, stopgrec.org, and sign the petition. The petitions are here, um, and that's all I'll say about that. Uh, we need to reverse the biomass plant. It's a tremendously bad idea. Uh, we also have, um, we made our EPAC presentation, thanks to Chris, Chris Bird uh, invited us, and we made our EPAC presentation about the current geosol engineering that's going on uh, over our heads at this, at this very time. The Belfort Group in Belgium uh, commissioned aerospace engineers uh, to look at this problem uh, in anonymity because there's no whistleblower protection. And their conclusion uh, at the end of this that manipulation of the climate through modification of cirrus clouds is neither a hoax nor a conspiracy. But currently the best option in geoengineering considered by decision makers to counter global warming. Well, some people think that global warming is all CO2, but NASA finds that global warming and CO2 have been divorced. NASA finds that CO2 is only responsible for 45% of global warming in a 2009 publication that you haven't seen. And it's all there in AAAS magazine. And the media has ignored this item. So we need to, uh, global warming is more complicated. They're actually looking at aerosols as the culprit. So what we're looking at is a huge political confusion about aerosols, global warming, CO2, and the real reason for stratospheric aerosol geoengineering that some people in this town are calling chemtrails. They have been going on since 1997, and they continue to go on. They were mentioned by name in House Resolution 2977. Dennis Kucinich called them chemtrails. He also called them an exotic weapon. They weren't a savior to global warming. They called it an exotic weapon. And uh, at the time, he knew what he was talking about because he was head of the committee. So I, this is online at save.com. The searchable edition is online at save.com. The county really needs to get into this because barium and aluminum are part of the fallout of this uh, as documented in the recent documentary, uh, What in the World Are They Spraying by G. Edward Griffin. We know that aluminum oxide in the soil, in the forest, will be a, an accelerant to forest fires. So we need to start checking things. We need to start doing this. This is no longer a speculation. This is no longer uh, uh, a, an issue of uh, debate. This is many, including NASA aerospace engineers, on the inside of this operation who volunteered because they have families too. Uh, and so this, this is one of the, the issues that I brought to EPAC, and I'd very much like to continue the dialogue um, uh, when the time permits uh, as part of the committee at EPAC. 
Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Snave.